her career writing songs and singing behind powerhouses like Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones, and Aretha Franklin. Yeah, that's pretty big, right? I think she's one of the most talented people I've ever met. I mean, as a human being first, because a human being is what your work is reflective of. The way she writes lyrics, the way she sings, the way she dances, just the way she is as a human being. It's all a reflection as a human being. Today we're going to talk to some of the sexiest celebrities in the world. We'll begin with one of my personal favorites. This woman is so hot that the temperature rose about 10 degrees when she performed, performed on this set just one month ago. <laughs> When I asked the question about when you knew you had it, Saida, what's your answer when for that? When you, your people called the office and said, guess what, Oprah has an idea for a show. Baby, I'm telling you, I laughed for at least five minutes until I started <laughs> crying. I thought my manager was playing a joke on me. Really? I, just, I, I don't know what I'm doing up here. <laughs> <laughs> The, the idea for this show came the last time you were on this show because when I'm, I, I was telling the audience this, that when you left, all the guys were asking me, could I please get you here for Christmas? Just, just for a Christmas dinner or something so you could sit at the table with all of us. And so, you don't think you have it? You know, it's like Audrey said, you don't, you know, you, I mean, I see me in the morning, so I know what's up, okay? <laughs> She's more effervescent than Perrier. Yeah, well, if, I did, if I did coke or crack, I'd be dead. I swear <laughs> to God, because I'd just be bouncing off everybody's walls. So you don't need anything. No, I God. don't. Say what's on your mind, Saida. Good bitch, bad bitch. Is it, is it bad? Is it good? How is it? One person uh, was telling everyone, we shouldn't use the word bitch. It's not great. And I, my point was, it depends on the context in which the word is used. Because I remember I met um, uh, Miles Davis, and he recorded with uh, Quincy Jones on the back on the Black album, and I wasn't there the day that he played on the song that I sang on. The next day, Quincy said, Miles was in here, and, and I gotta tell you what he said. He was playing, and he stopped, and he said, Q, who that singing? He said, man, that's, that's Saida. He said, that's Saida. Damn, I love that bitch. Okay, so, <laughs> when Miles Davis calls you a bitch, it's a, it's, a, it's a different thing. I pray that I'm never abducted or murdered because if they found hairs, they wouldn't know what bitch to look uh -uh. for. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Who to look for? Is it a I don't know. Yeah. I think she said bitch. Yeah. 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 We worked together how many years ago, Saida? Saida was sang in my oh, band. Oh, we don't have to talk about that. No, <laughs> yeah, well, she, that's how I know this girl. <laughs> Back in 19... The blah, 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 blah. 80s, yeah. 80s, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. She still looks. She was I was cool. just a babe at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Reuben, I don't want to be a minister. I want to be a singer. Uncle Reuben? Aren't you gonna say something? I think he's waiting for you to say something, like April Fool. <laughs> he's known me for my entire career. I've known him for half of his yeah. career. <laughs> and what a joy. He's been nothing but laughs and great food. Great food. She oh loves my to God. eat and she knows her food and her wine. <laughs> so how do you make the phone ring? Or, or is it within one's power to make the phone ring? Well, in my case, I think the more you do and you're good at, the more valuable you are and the higher you're worth. So I started my career as a, as a recording artist, and that didn't really pan out for me. But, but because I was signed to Quincy Jones' record contract, I also had a, a songwriting deal. So when the artist thing didn't work out, I just sort of drifted over to starting to write songs. And as I was writing songs, um, I sing jingles. And as I was singing a jingle one day, the, the voiceover talent didn't show up. So they said, here, say, say this. So now I'm the voice of Toyota for Southern California. Excuse me. Hello. All right. <laughs> Oh, Prius, hello. <laughs> Yo, everybody.
everybody. I'm Saida Garrett, and welcome to America's Top Ten. Now, let's do it. And remember, love doesn't make the world go round, but honey, it sure makes the ride worthwhile. Miss Man in the Mirror herself. is it then to be on tour with Michael and see all of his apostles with lighters? Awesome. It was going, awesome. Knowing that they loved like, the song like as much as you. It was like touring with Baby Jesus. I swear. Yeah. It was just... It was just... <laughs> <laughs> I never heard it put that way before, but I, perhaps it was. <laughs> Let me, let me just share with you, there were some, he was amazing every night, as, as you can see from the footage, but there were some nights, man, where we as musicians were on stage with him, and we were like, dude, <laughs> dude, it was, it was, he was really that phenomenal. Wow. He said, you want to hold Bubbles? And I was like, okay, so Bubbles was on my hip, it's like baby, it, it felt like a kid, and then I'd look over and it was a monkey, it was the weirdest. That's the weirdest sensation ever. I'm, I'm singing, my eyes are closed. You know how I And Michael started tossing. I think it was popcorn. He's, I'm singing, my eyes closed, and I'm, I'm feeling this. And then Quincy, all Quincy sees is me, you know, he said, Sid, this is studio time. You're, you're, you're wasting time, Sid. You're wasting the expensive studio. And Michael is cracking up. The phrase, man in the mirror, just popped out at me, and I started writing these lyrics that I couldn't write them fast enough. I couldn't get it all out fast enough. And in like 15 minutes, we had the first verse and the chorus for Man in the Mirror. And you know how when Charlie Brown's teacher talks to him, yeah. all you hear, <laughs> that's all I heard, because after the word but, I don't really care. <laughs> after the word but, but I thought I heard him say, Michael thinks the uh, the chorus is, uh, needs four more lines of the chorus, and yeah. he really wants you to, to ho hold on a minute, Sid. And then I hear. And then, uh, Michael's voice. And then Quincy goes, and Michael really wants you to just bring it home. Just, just, ho ho hold on. And then I hear. And, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and then Quincy says, hold on, Sid. And then he goes like. He puts Michael on the phone. Oh, oh my God. Okay, okay. When I was a kid, me and my sister and my cousins, we all had a Jackson for a husband. <laughs> Michael was my husband, okay? In my mind, I was on the phone with my husband. Oh, my God. We have dessert coming. Dessert is coming. Oh, Take one down, pass it down. That's or take one down. That's great. That's great. Yeah, yeah, we've got ginger nutmeg spice cupcakes and some mocha cupcakes. Yeah, yeah. So oh, help yourself. Cupcakes, <laughs> Okay, Saida. Saida, yeah. that's enough. That's enough hosting. Okay, okay. Host right here. All right. Okay. And you are happy. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm, I'm from Compton. I didn't know, as a black child growing up in LA, that I would be touring the world with the biggest pop star on the planet, having been produced by the biggest producer in the world. You know, traveling these kind of circles, I can, you can only dream about. I mean, and I want. Every little girl that has a dream in her heart to follow it. Just follow it. And it won't be easy. Just take it slow. Nothing is certain. That much I know. Promise I'm keeping. It's gonna be mine. It's all I'll be needing. It's right here inside. So no matter